In this lesson, we're going to learn how to take our assembly that we just created in Autodesk Inventor and convert that into a technical drawing that we can print out and use as a template to actually build our bridge trusses out of 1 8 inch balsa wood. So to do this, we should have our bridge file open, we have our assembly 1 file open, and we're actually going to create a new drawing. So we already created a part we already created an assembly. The last thing we need to do is create a drawing that we're going to be able to print out. Now, as soon as this open up, opens up, Autodesk Inventor immediately defaults to using a size D sheet of paper, which is really pretty big, and not many printers have that capability unless you have a drafting plotter. So we need to edit this sheet. So that's the first thing that we're going to do. We're going to go to Sheet 1. We're going to highlight that and then right-click it and it's going to give us some options. Down here we're going to choose Edit Sheet and this is where we can have a little menu that allows us to pick out what size paper to use. We're actually going to be using a custom size because we're going to print this out on legal size paper. So the legal size paper that we're using is 8.5 inches high and it, it is 14 inches wide because we're going to be printing it out in landscape mode. So when we click OK, you're going to see that this changes in scale significantly. And our menu box down here at the bottom of the title box is actually much bigger on this smaller sheet of paper. Um, even though it's technically the same size, proportionally it's bigger. Unfortunately, fitting the bridge with the substructure and superstructure on there with the title block is kind of difficult. So we're actually going to take the title block off. We don't really need it for the template anyway. So we're just going to right click the ANSI large title box and we're going to delete that so that we now have a blank sheet of paper with just a border around it. If you need to delete the border as well, then you can obviously highlight that, right click it and delete it, but we don't need to and um, we might actually, you know, put our names on this so it's easy to identify when it comes off the printer. So that's a, a really um, good thing to do. So after we have our paper set up, then we can go and pick up our assembly that we're going to bring into our um, drawing. So we go here to our base view and we're actually going to be using our assembly as our base view. And the only thing that we really need to modify this is the scale. Right now the scale drawing is in one quarter um, scale so we need to actually print it out in one to one scale so that when we put our balsa wood members on here it's using it as a template to actually create the drawing as we see it um, on this paper with a one to one scale. So we choose a one to one scale on that, we click OK and it embeds it onto the drawing we then are going to go in and um, dimension this. And that way we can verify that the length of this, the height of it, the road deck, everything is going to meet the rules of the design brief. So we go over here to annotate and we're going to choose dimension. And in this dimension, we're going to choose the distance from the bridge deck, which is right there down to the bottom of our bridge support and it's going to say that it's 3.38 inches high. So we click OK and then we are also going to do our bridge length which is from the outside edge of that member to the outside edge of that member and our overall bridge length is 12. Now we're actually going to put that up here at the top because we're also going to include another dimension in there, which is where we have our um, overall span length. Now the span length for this bridge needed to be eight inches minimum. So we go from that member to that member and we're going to drop it down and it happens to be exactly eight inches. So that falls within the requirements of our bridge. Um, we can also go in and put in a dimension from the bottom of the bridge deck to the bottom of the support and we can see that that's 3.25 inches. That's definitely high enough so that our three inch 
um, vehicle can travel underneath it. And then we can go from our bridge deck to the top of our bridge and we can see that that is slightly over two inches so that a two inch high vehicle can travel across our bridge deck. So this is how we create a drawing. We can use annotations to put in our dimensions. We can also type in some text if we wanted to put our name around the border or something just so it's easily identified coming off the printer. Um, you can do that as well. Um, you simply need to save this and it's going to save it as um, assembly one drawing. What I would like you to do is use your last name as the drawing name. And again, this is our technical drawing that we're going to be using as the template. So you're going to put your last name in there as your um, drawing name. And then the other thing that you're going to do is after you saved it as a um, inventor drawing, you're then going to choose the file and you're going to go down here to export and you're going to export this as a PDF. And the reason you want to export it as a PDF is so that any printer or even a copier can make a print out of this. So we're going to print it out as a PDF. We just simply use whatever last name um, you plugged in. Um, it's going to save it as a PDF. It's going to save it in your folder. And that way you can then submit this to either Google Classroom or Canvas. And that way um, your teacher can print it out for you. And then you can start actual construction of your bridge template.